drip, you might slip on. I pull up, get the bag, and get gone. Hit the bitch and I dip, she pissed off. You rather be that and not pissed on? It's a whole lot of sticks in my house, nigga. You would've thought my family was the Flintstones. I sent a hit off a flip phone. I'm a miss. It's your girl Ebony back with another video. <laughs> it's your girl Ebony back with another video. Oh y'all guys. Mm. It's your girl Ebony back with another video. Or oh, also know this camera baby, which is on my Instagram, which y'all can follow me on. And my Snapchat is Instagram. My Snapchat is Instagram. My Snapchat is also Camera Baby. You can follow me on Twitter, Camera Baby One. Okay, so now, like I said, we back with another video, and it. Okay, so I had to pause this moment for a second just to thank every subscriber that has subscribed to me. I mean, it's only a couple. It's only eight, actually, eight or nine, which I'm so thankful for. And I'm thankful for all the views um, on my last video. Um, I hope you guys continue to support me and everything like that. Um, but, you know, lately in the world, it's been a serious moment with this coronavirus talk and i hope everyone is just staying safe staying clean and you know just still being yourself so um i was supposed to have been coming up with this video and i apologize for the lateness of this video but i really wanted to make sure it was you know suitable for you guys and i felt like this was a perfect time to bring this video out because I know a lot of people are feeling down because they're in their house and they're stuck in their house. But this is really the moment to just express yourself and figure out who you are and what do you want to do in life. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully these tips will help you, you know, be yourself and continue to do the goals that you do daily for yourself, for your life. And... And it's on the title, How to Have a Focused Mindset in Six Steps. Six Steps, y'all, is how to have a um, confident mindset. Your mindset is um, something that is essential to your life. You need, uh, you need a good head on your shoulders, a good mindset to um, overcome any situation in your life. Like, it's important to have that. So, like I said, it's six steps. I had to make sure it was six, y'all. I can't lie. Feel <laughs> me? Okay. So the first step is to clear your mind up. Clear your mind of all toxic things, people you people you deal with, and don't let it affect you. Um. Yeah. Like it says, um, self-explanatory. Clear your mind. Like if something comes up, like oh, if um, I don't know, if Ashley call and say, oh, girl, um, this. Uh, this man, this man came to you talking about that you done mess with all these people and like stuff like that, or oh, this girl cussed and said you was ugly, or you know, some crazy shit like that. Like, get that shit out of the way. Like, nobody care about any of that stuff. Um, that's being toxic, or like just people around you. Like, you could be like with your homegirl or something, y'all going out and shit. You feel me? You just got this new lip gloss that you popping with, and the girl next to you, like, oh, that lip gloss ain't even all that. Da, da, da. Like, no, um, first of all, you be gonna hate it right now. Like, if you want to just buy it, you can buy it. Like, don't, don't be mad because the next girl was wearing a lip gloss like you can buy one of the lip gloss like you feel me like oh that's so toxic like anyway like that's just toxic okay here we on step step two step two um take positive energy in take positive energy and i can't stress this enough okay like you need to be around positive vibes um, positive people, positive things, positive shows, like all that stuff. Like every morning, I wake. I mean, mm, every morning I wake up. I always go on YouTube, and I'm always watching positive videos, like people doing positive things, like um, like they're reaching a goal or they're going on a vacation. Going on a vacation for their birthday. Okay, it's good to take positive energy in because. You don't want to be around bad things, you feel me? Bad things will make you feel bad. Like, you want to feel good about yourself. You want to acknowledge um, 
the positivity that you're bringing into yourself. Take positive energy in yourself and make sure you're just being around positive people. Um, you're listening to positive music. Um, you're writing down positive quotes. Like, all that's important. Step three. Step three. Um, write down goals you want to accomplish. Writing down goals is something I like to do because, like, you go, you're going to forget them if you don't write them down. Like, your mind is all over the place. And, like, our mind, well, my mind thinks a lot. So, writing down your goals, I feel like, is so important um, to anyone who wants to stay focused on their life. Like, you want to write down goals to stay track of what you actually want to do. If you jot everything down, you'll remember it easier. I mean, that's how I feel like I get by with the goals I want to accomplish in my life. Is to just write them down and be able to... Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's to write, um, write, your, write down your goals because um, that's how you remember them. You don't want to forget your goals. Me, personally, I forget everything, so I need to write that down. Um, step four is to plan an into your schedule. I know everyone says, oh, I'm too busy to do this. Oh, I'm too busy to, um, I'm too busy to eat a nutritious um, hold on. I'm new, busy to eat a nutritious meal at lunchtime, so I'm just gonna go to KFC or something like that. Like, no, you can plan that into your schedule if you make time for it. Like, if you want to eat healthy, you can uh, go to the grocery store, cook stuff in the beginning of the week, and then you know, plan of what you want to eat for the week and cook that. And meal plan, yeah, that's what it's called. And meal plan in the beginning of the week. So you can start eating healthy if that's what you want to do as a goal, just for an example. So yeah, don't act like you're busy for anything because you're not. You're only busy because you want to make yourself busy in your mind. But really, if you plan everything out, everything would, would go just fine. And if Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. So yeah, my camera cut off. <laughs> So like I was saying, don't don't underestimate yourself. Like if there's something you really want to do, go for it. Go do that shit. Um, step step five. Don't let anything don't let anything knock you off. Basically, that's saying like don't let anybody knock you off your road. Like don't let anybody um knock you off with what you're doing with yourself. Hold on. Like, don't let anyone knock you off. Like, don't let anyone um, push you off the road, push you off what you're working to where it's. Don't let anyone stop you from doing anything. Whether it's someone saying, oh, that video wasn't, oh, that video she made last week, oh, that shit wasn't even all that. So what? Post another video. Um, if somebody's on social media saying, like, like on Instagram, <laughs> my fucking throat runs <laughs> My throat felt dry, yo. Hold up. Like I was saying, if somebody on IG is talking about, oh, the post she made, I wasn't even all that. Or it's like just so just self-criticism. Like, oh, I only made like 13 um damn, I only made I only got 13 likes. Like so what? Post another video. Like if you I mean um post another picture. If you feel like you're not you're not good enough that's bad because you know you're good enough and all you want to do is improve so if you feel like somebody's trying to knock you off like ignore them like i said in step um it's in, in step two like take positive energy in. like take what people are saying about you and create that shit into a positive energy like okay i need you to do this because you know what if they not talk i mean if they not talking about you then you're not doing enough okay if they talk about you you're damn doing something right okay because that is what haters is gonna do they're gonna fucking talk and you just can't let that shit knock you off your course you gotta keep going you feel me all gas no break <laughs> Um, step six, the last step is be inspired. So, um, yeah, it's be inspired. Always, I can't read. Hey, 
Why ain't you running? Why well, can't read? Get out of here! <laughs> okay, I can't read my handwriting. I that I can't read. Um, always, you always, uh, you always want to look at new ways to approach different goals and how people accomplish theirs. Being inspired is something different. It's a visual way of how someone else did it and then you just flip it. Of course, you don't want to copy no one because no one, you want to, um, say I can't even talk. Of course, you don't want to copy no one because you don't want to be called a copycat, first of all. And then you kind of have, you kind of want to have your own journey. Like you don't just want to go in the follow of their footsteps. But yes, you want to be inspired to where you know what you want to do with your life you know you know what you want to do with your goals how you want to set them how you want to plan them everyone needs inspiration because that's how they grow like if you keep doing the same thing over and over again it's going to be hard to do what you actually want to do instead you can be inspired and learn and then learn and see how they're doing it and then twist it around like and you can just see how um you can just see how they accomplish their goals so you can make sure you're on track with your goals like oh okay if this didn't work let me try this and when you and even if it doesn't work then try something different that someone else did that's how you get inspired and then you can inspire others with your journey as well so those are the six steps so like i said those are the six steps on how to have a focused mind okay because everyone needs to be out there with a focused mindset like i said it's important to your life it's important to stay on track with yourself and just be able to live life like we're all here on this earth for a purpose and we need to show ourselves and give ourselves that effort and love to ourselves that you know it's important to have a good mindset okay so yeah this is the end of the video yeah this is the end of the video comment below if you have any um comment below if you have any video suggestions for me also um like and subscribe to my channel if you're a new youtuber comment down below so i can also subscribe and show you love to your channel um i guess that's all and you guys have a great day See you next time on the next video. <laughs>